This is a job we did about, I don't know, 12 years ago or so. A very nice lady, former school teacher. She had several interior system companies over, and they wanted uh, much more money for partial inside system, okay, which would have never stopped the water from coming in, and you'll see in a minute. Most of the water she was getting in was right here and just a little bit in a couple other areas. Here's a look, a view of the inside of the wall right where the porch is. And you see the dampness and water stains and efflorescence here, but also some dampness up high. And you'll see why in a minute how the water was getting in. Efflorescence, this is seven feet deep. Yep. So one weekend I drove out to Lansing, because it's a long haul for me, to knock out the cap and get it ready, right? And once I knock the cap out, you see that. And you see the wood right there. And under the cap, inside the porch, you see all the garbage that they didn't want to haul away. So there were two by fours in the holes, holding up some plywood. And there are still big gaps around the two by fours. Yep, and that's how the water was getting in. One of the ways most of the water actually was getting in. There's the plywood. Right, knocked out the edges of the block footing for the porch because she put a small wood porch uh, after we were done uh, above this area. Yep, and there's one of the cracks. You can see the scraper in it. Yep, that's another way water was getting in. Hydraulic cement goes in any and all the openings. That's the crack, the main one. Somebody had previously uh, slapped about a foot of thin tar on, as you see. Here's the stupid-ass drain tiles, which had zero to do with why she and the rest of us leak. Backfilling with just about all gravel. Yep, night-night. 